Hey guys, I uh, just want to show you this. This is a, uh, a quick update on synth. Check this out. This is a six layer recipe that I've created for this kind of a corridor model. You can see the model in there. And what's really cool is we've added this new main seed feature. And so as I click through this main seed, it's going to automatically generate different variations for this particular model. And that's really cool. And, and not only that, but it also works with any size cube that you want to give it, you know, so whatever the aspect ratio, it doesn't matter. It's going to go ahead and just work. So you can see as I'm walking through some of these, it's just generating all kinds of uh, new permutations of the different inserts that I have applied for this particular recipe. It's just amazing. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how exciting it is to look at this and think about how cool it will be when all you need to do is scroll through a few dozen designs and find the one that you want. Of course, this particular corridor recipe will be included in Synth when we ship it. I thought we were going to get to it this month, but it doesn't look like we will. We're still going through some beta testing right now. And if you're interested in beta testing, give me a shout on uh, Discord. So when I say any kind of cube, what am I talking about? So let's go ahead and clear this. And you can see that what we're working with here is just a plain old regular default cube. And we've scaled it. And we've also selected the front face on that cube so that we know where we're going to insert all these recipe inserts from KitOps. So uh, we could also adjust the scale of it. We can set the aspect ratio any way we want and just hit the do it button. And check it out. It's going to actually build from a plain cube. It's going to generate the whole model. So how cool is that? Uh, let's go in here and take a look around. Maybe turn off our overlays. And you can see. And this is just the beginning, right? So this is just the beginning. What we're going to want to do later is we're going to apply another set of recipes to the inside of this. So this is the scaffolding. The next generation, we're going to add controls and all kinds of more and more details. So... Uh, I hope you find this as exciting as I do. I'm really thrilled uh, to have this new synth feature, and we'll be sure to keep you updated. Thanks for watching.